Welcome back to Simple Planes, today's goal will be to make our aircraft land, because we cannot bomb the night and then crash to death, that is highly impractical. I received a lot of angry fax documents saying how the engines on the edges of the plane are a terribly fucking stupid idea, so I removed them. I went into the options of the wings and decided to change them a bit. I wasn't entirely sure what any of this meant, but I tilted both wings upwards and then tried to change this thing here. I'm not stupid, okay, I know that this is that little thing that makes your plane go left and right, and I assumed that making it bigger would allow the plane to turn faster. I did the same thing to the smaller wings and went to the airstrip. I quickly noticed how I fucked up the left wing, it wasn't proportional to the right one, but surprisingly the plane was able to fly. Moving too much wasn't really recommended, because as soon as I tried to move, the plane started losing its shit. As I tried to turn on the left side, the plane kept being an idiot and eventually dropped into the ocean. I went back and fixed the left wing, and then decided to fix the aerodynamics a bit. I slowly started understanding how physics work. I'm sorry, I finished school 794 years ago, so I forget things sometimes. I try to rearrange the body of the plane and add a few angled blocks so the entire thing can actually penetrate the air while flying. I gave it another attempt at flight and this time the takeoff was very smooth, but the movement while flying was still idiotic and I quickly hit the ocean. New plan was to completely remove the propeller and place a smaller engine onto the wings, but the fucking shit didn't wanna snap onto the wing. I added the red nose to the front and edited the wings a bit more. Now I added more control surfaces so the entire wing can be used to tilt the plane, not just a small portion of it. I really didn't like the front side of the plane, these intake things seemed wrong so I deleted one and put the other one in the far back, where it wouldn't bother anyone. Adding some nice angled blocks to the front side seemed a bit difficult, and I started to beg the gods to help me, and then I remembered another fax I received that told me that I should use three wheels instead of four, so I got rid of one and attempted to put the other in the middle. The interface accidentally became a fuckbag, so I had to rearrange some parts, but all in all, I was liking the changes to my plane design so far. I wasn't able to place the engines onto the wings, so I just attempted to fly again. This this attempt resulted in a double backflip with immense elegance. It almost made me cry, but not because of the elegance, but because of my stupidity. I wanted to replace the small engines with big ones, but they refused to snap under the wings. I thought maybe this was the case because the wings were still a bit tilted upwards. I lowered them and the snapping still didn't work in my favor. Then Kevin Spacey suddenly invaded my mind and said to me, pylons, motherfucker. So I added the motherfucking pylons and I could snap the engines onto them. The next flying attempt commenced. What followed can only be described as a gift from Kevin Spacey himself. The plane gently flew upwards and started doing a double backflip again. Once it completed the backflip, it gracefully landed and bounced off the ground. This bounce caused it to slightly turn to the right, which made the plane turn to the left and attempt a sideways glide that became an aerial pirouette that transformed into a hardcore breakdance. As the plane broke down, it spun, exploded and stopped. This was a once in a lifetime experience, but still, it didn't remove the stupid from my brain. I decided to add more wings to the plane. I have absolutely no idea why would I do this, it has nothing to do with common sense whatsoever. Flight attempt was as moronic as you would assume. After removing the extra wings, I called upon the power of the gods to give me assistance and I got the drag sight. The red parts are obviously very bad, because red indicates bad things, such as menstrual difficulties, decapitations and sometimes anal sex. I didn't really like the big retractable landing gear, so I replaced it with the smaller ones, and I also added another engine on top of the plane, because the gods said it would be a good idea. Flight was attempted yet again. This time the takeoff was a bit rough, but flying the plane was quite smooth. I was able to go left and right, but going up and down was a bit jerky. After 15 seconds I changed my mind, turning left and right caused the plane to go into several seizures at once, but I was actually able to get to the landing island, but unfortunately I had no control and my plane got wrecked. So I was getting closer to landing my wonderful plane, but I still needed to work on it. My first move was to change the things on all wings, make them smaller so when I tilt the plane it doesn't go crazy. This time getting to the island wasn't problematic, but I still had issues properly going left and right, and as I approached the ground, the plane landed, but hit its nose into the ground and exploded. I got very close. That nose explosion should have been a sign, but nope, I was still too stupid to realize what I need to do. So what I did was remove a few blocks and replace the small angled blocks with the big ones. I figured that this would help the airflow enough to stabilize my plane for landing. I was finally very hopeful for my plane and the closer I got to the ground my butt got sweatier and sweatier, but then the same thing happened. I hit the ground with the wheels and my nose made the plane explode again. I finally realized that my front wheel needs to be much closer to the nose. This this way it wouldn't lean forward and explode, so I removed the weapon and placed the wheel very close to the nose of the plane. 
I focused like I have never focused before in my life. I felt like both the gods and Kevin Spacey gave me their powers to land this fucking plane. The approach was nice. I aligned the plane with the airstrip and slowly lowered the engine power. And while the final moments before landing were a bit rough, I managed to nicely place the plane on the ground. I could immediately feel a hand touching my butt. It was the hand of the gods and the touch made me cry. This is the glorious bird of Petardia which will destroy the dragon slaying knight's hideout. He will suffer for what he has done to our land. Thank you for watching and make sure to send me many facts documents mentioning how exactly should I add weapons without fucking the entire plane up. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.